and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm just calling this one Hot Spring Ride because that's what it is. It's I'm calling this hot out here because uh, it's the first time we've gotten into the 80s this spring and as I talk to you now we're at 85 degrees at a quarter after two in the afternoon so I suspect we're going to be they say high 80s today but it looks like it may uh, get to 90 the way it's going so uh, we've uh, quickly jumped into the warm weather that's for sure but I can't really complain because it's not cool and it's not raining and when you're riding whether it be on a traditional bike or an e-bike you get the nice breeze that you generate when you ride to kind of cool you off so it's not so bad when you're riding a beautiful day hopefully wherever you are you've got some uh, nice spring weather there and you get to do some uh, riding which a lot of people it's taken a long time before you get your bike out I'm sure So I'm just going to cruise around on what would be now, so far this year, the hottest day of the year. Like I say, it's 85 degrees at the moment, but we're probably going to get very close to 90, like probably 89, or maybe it will hit 90. I'm going to go down around here by King City Park here for a minute, just a little community park here in the neighborhood. And uh, I just want to see how many folks are there. I suspect there'll be some there at least. It's um, another day out on the e-bike, which is always a joy to do. And this is the Lyric Graffiti, if you didn't know already, that I'm riding today. It is my uh, go-to bike. that I ride for the most part, but not exclusively. I do get the uh, Grizzly out, or I should get the uh, Rad Rover out for a ride one of these days. It's been a while since I had the Rad out. Wow, there's nobody around here. I'm, I'm absolutely surprised. Well, I guess there's more space for the graffiti and myself. Hello. It's a really bad patch right here. And we're going to exit out right over here.
funny when the uh, motor gets uh, gets going here on the uh, graffiti. This is a gearless uh, rear hub motor, and it sounds to me a little bit has that little bit of a noise like uh, it's not very loud, but you can hear a little bit, and it reminds me of a jet engine firing up when you're on a plane. Let's go straight through. Pretty quiet around. I guess some of the kids are just beginning out of school at this time, so maybe they're not home yet. Parents are still working. Uh, except for those of us that go to work earlier in the morning. Nice to see uh, green on the trees once again. And this is just roaming around the neighborhood on a hot spring day. Most of these side streets here, neighborhood streets, speed limit's about 25 miles an hour. Some of them are 20. So that's a perfect speed for uh, e-bike. Uh, that's the speed I like to, I like to be, I know the uh, class two uh, legal speed is 20, 20 miles an hour, but I kind of like uh, closer to 25 to ride. That's why I wish everybody had the uh, class three, 28 miles per hour, because I think that's kind of like a sweet spot to me for uh, riding. Not always, but depending on where you are and who's around you and stuff like that. Especially out on the street. You need to go a little bit quicker, I think, to keep up with traffic, especially when there's no bike lane and you have to kind of be in with the cars. I just love the fact when it's warm out like this that you get the wind coming at you that you generate from riding. When I was first riding my Grizzly when I got that bike, I bought a motorcycle helmet to wear when I rode 
and I don't wear the helmet anymore and the reason why I don't wear that helmet anymore is because when I would do the video I would get comments where people couldn't hear me very well if at all sometimes they couldn't really hear me especially when I got going a little bit you know got some speed up there and uh Of course, when I first got the Grizzly, though, I didn't have my YouTube channel as of yet. And so uh, I was riding it for uh, about three months before I um, got the YouTube channel started. And, uh, and did the... Uh, and then I started, I changed helmets. And Ex Nido uh, Helmet Company also sent me the helmet that I actually have on right now to do a review on. And um, so I've been uh, wearing that helmet basically ever since they uh, sent it to me. And, uh, whoa, if you'd like to uh, purchase that helmet, I got a little close to the brush though. If you'd like to purchase this helmet, I do have a link in the description. You'll see that. And uh, the motorcycle helmet I still have, I just haven't worn it in a while. Uh, one thing I do like about the, uh, two things I like about the motorcycle helmet is that it was uh, full face and had the visor. So that would uh, protect you from the uh, bugs that come at you when you're riding. I'm sure you know all about that. Everybody that's ridden a bike knows the situation about supposed to keep your mouth clo closed when you ride and uh, it's kind of hard to do when you're doing a YouTube video but also getting in your eyes although now I'm wearing my glasses but um, and then I had uh, two visors I had that came with a clear visor and then a tinted visor which I uh, basically put the tinted one on use that one all the time but uh the uh, downside about the helmet the motorbike helmet that I didn't like so much. It was heavier on the head. And it can get kind of warm in there. I know it, it had vents on it, or has vents on it, but still you get pretty warm in there. So. Let's follow this FedEx truck. Maybe it has a package for me. Maybe there's a bike in there for me.
You know, I get a lot of people commenting, not a lot, but so, I shouldn't say a lot, because it's not a lot, but a few, about um, that I do not stop at stop signs on my videos. And, and I've commented before about this, but I'm going to make a little comment again, but I stop if I have to come to a complete stop, but the, in Oregon here, uh, the law is that we do not have to, on a bike, a bicycle, and uh, e-bike is considered a bicycle in this state, we can come to a, like a six mile per hour uh, rolling stop, and then if nobody's coming, proceed. Um, just for you folks out there, uh, so you know, I'm not living dangerously. I'm not going to put my life in danger or anyone else's um, and go through a stop sign. I'm not, you know, crazy. And um, I'm only going to continue on, slow down and continue on if nobody's coming and I can see that there's nobody coming. There are times when you cannot see. There could be something in the way. There could be a car there or a parked car or whatever. And then obviously I'm not going to go straight through the stop sign. And as, of, uh, as for a um, stop lights, 100%. I've never gone through a red light yet. I don't care if nobody's coming, I wait. And if I have issues with the light not wanting to change for me, I'll just walk up and push the pedestrian walk uh, button and uh, do it that way. But I do not ever go through a red light. You'll never see me go through a red light. Um, and if you do, you can call me out on that. Uh, but anyway, that's just... I don't know how many people actually come to it. See here, I came to a stop because there's a million cars here, but um, how many people out there ride a, a bike, be it electric or traditional, and come to a complete stop at a stop sign? I bet you not a lot, unless you have to. And if you don't uh, believe me on the uh, Oregon law on that, look it up. It's there. Every state might be a little bit different. I don't know, but I just know that this state has that. Like I say, a few people have, have said that to me. Not, not a lot. I, that's you know, so I should mention that it's not a lot of people, a few people, but uh, I've seen other uh, YouTubers out there that do videos as well. They get the same comments, so, but I don't know what their state laws are. But even if it wasn't the law here, I think slowing down and seeing nobody coming, you're not putting yourself or anyone in danger, then I don't see an issue with it personally, but. So that's going to do it for this hot spring ride. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you would like to comment on this video or any other videos that, that have been up on the channel go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section and if you like this video hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we appreciate that. And just hit that subscribe button and you're in. 
tell your friends about us we are a growing channel and we plan on continuing to grow and learn new things as we go along here and try to improve the channel so once again thank you for joining me on this video and until next time take care